Next, let's talk about the actual products we'll be vacuum forming. First off, we have the Proform material, which is identifiable with the center logo Proform, which is positioned when we vacuum form on the linguals of the teeth to help reinforce the anterior section against impact. Nextly, we have the Proform Night Guard material, which is about 30% denser than the uh, mouth guard material, and this aids in prevention against wear when the patient's grinding their teeth. Next, we have the uh, dual laminate material. This is a preferable material for using uh, uh, for TMD appliances, temporal mandibular dysfunctional appliances. The nice feature is that it does have a hard uh, outside area which we can add um, uh, acrylic to in order to build ramps and so forth. Another product which is uh, unique to uh, vacuum forming materials is a uh, dual, uh, I'm sorry, a um, uh, bleach tray material, which has a foam uh, inside which holds the bleach material intact uh, when uh, applied uh, to the patient's mouth. We also have the e-gasket material, which comes in two different colors, pink and clear. And what the e-gasket is used for is to make actual gaskets on a model, uh, vacuum formed over, then they're trimmed, and then uh, dentures are made around those gaskets, processed, and we have a nice retention modality uh, for that case. We also have coping material. Coping material is a uh, material which does not stick to acrylic uh, and it uh, uh, is preferable over say splint material which would uh, being that you could fill these uh, intaglios of the coping material with resin. Once it's set up they peels, it peels clean and um, doesn't, stick to, it doesn't stick to the acrylic at all. Then we also have the um, splint material, which does stick to acrylic, and, and that is preferable in some techniques where the doctors would like to have a nice gloss finish on the outside, so they would fill this with resin and then uh, allow it to set up and not try to peel it off. And then lastly, we have the uh, material which we call the uh, temporary retainer material. It comes in 030, which is a rather thick style. And it's stiffer and has a higher melting temperature than most of the other materials I've just mentioned. And it's used to stabilize brackets and other types of applications.